Hey everyone, Program Director Tony Milan for RespondRight EMS Academy. Again, I want to give you a behind the scenes look into our program. How we run it, different things we do, our accreditation process, just a sneak peek into different things. So today, I actually had our advisory committee meeting and it was super exciting. We got to meet up with different people in the community, get feedback on how to make our paramedic program outstanding and just touch base with everybody. So some of the materials that I used in the meeting tonight is out here on the table. And I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details, but just know everything to comply with COAM and KHEP and National Registry, the state of Missouri, we do all of that with our paramedic program. We're constantly reevaluating everything just to make sure that we do stay in compliance with all of the different standards. If you don't know much about it, you can give us a call and we can talk to you about it, but know that we are COAM accredited and uh, we just received our continuing accreditation, which is good until 2024. No citations, no violations, and no progress reports. So we're super excited about that. If you ever want to come by and see our certificate of accreditation, you can see that. Uh, I've got a copy right here, and you can always stop by and see it on our wall. All right, so anyway, um, again, I'm not going to bore you with all these details here, but just know all of this stuff goes into accrediting our paramedic program. All right, so on with some more exciting things. Um, you're in my office right now, which uh, not many people get to come in here, but um, here it is. It's not that exciting, but um, I do have a view of the parking lot, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go meet some staff. You want to? All right, come with me. I'm gonna first introduce you to Jerry DePauli. If you've never met Jerry DePauli, she's our office manager and she sits at the front desk. So let's say hi to Jerry. Hi. Hi, Jerry. Tell everybody how you're doing today. I'm doing good. Yeah, you sound a Is little sick. You have a little allergies. You got some allergies today. Poor Jerry. Aw, poor Jerry. Aw. So, uh, Jerry, tell us how admissions goes when, when a student comes in. Let's say you have an EMT student who's interested in registering. What, what would they do? What would they need to do? They would need to, we actually processed or changed our process to a online enrollment. So they can either enroll at home or they can come in and I can get them set up on a computer and they would fill out their application, pay their registration fee, and then we would get them started with the packet, um, which would include their background check information, their drug screen information, their physical form, and their student checklist of all the paperwork that would be due. That's awesome. And how much is it to register for the course? $150. $150? That's it? Just $150? Who wants to be an EMT? Somebody wants to be an EMT. All right. Well, if you do, check us out. Give us a call. Number 636-387-6200. All right. All right. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to introduce you to the program director for the EMT course. Her name is Donna Weiss. She is also the other owner of RespondRight. So let's peek in on her. She's in our office right now. Let's see what she's doing. Donna. Hi, Tony. Donna, what are you Hi, doing? Tony. I ah. am just working on the EMT syllabus. Yeah, how's it going? It's going great. How are you? Yeah, oh, I'm having a fantastic day. Good. So how's that syllabus coming along? Syllabus is almost done. Just you had a class that started on Wednesday and just finish it up some last minute touches. Yeah, you have class, you have EMT class tonight, don't you? We do. We have EMT class right now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four nights a week. My goodness. Do you think you'll ever do a weekend class? I think we're going to do a weekend class. I think we're going to add a hybrid class and I think we're going to also add a one day a week class. Oh, that's exciting. To try to hit everybody that can't maybe come on an evening or during the daytime. Cool. That sounds exciting. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, Donna. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. See you later. All right, so like she said, we actually have an EMT class that's getting ready to start at 6 o'clock tonight, and I think the instructor's here. So I'm going to introduce you to the instructor. We have students walking in, too. You can probably see one behind me. I think there's a student back there. Oh, there's there's somebody right there. Say hi. Hi there. What's up? We're going to drop in on your class here for a second. Hi, everybody. We're just saying hi. Hello. We're going to meet James. James well, hey. is the EMT instructor. Hello. Hello. Uh, how's your day going so far? Uh, it's going fantastic. Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah. Another so, beautiful day. So James Hill is a firefighter paramedic, and he is our EMT primary instructor. So I just kind of want to drop in and introduce you, James. 
So you're going to be teaching the EMT class tonight, right? Yes, ma'am. We so, have a uh, class 40. We have an excellent class of uh, students tonight. We're going to be covering uh, OB and neonatal care and also some pediatric emergencies. we got a great class uh, that's going to be consisting of a quiz up front, and then we're going to do a lot of psychomotor skills and going to put these kids to work tonight. So it's going to be a great class. That's awesome. You guys have a good night, all right? Thank you. All yeah. right. We'll see you later. See you guys. Have fun tonight. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right. Cool. All right. So... They're going to have a good night tonight. If you guys haven't dropped in to see our wall, see of our, our previous classes, they've all donated an, an award or, or some type of photo. So that's pretty cool. You guys got to stop by and check out our wall. Jerry, where's Jerry going? Jerry, Come we're going to follow you, Jerry. We're coming, we're coming. All right, we'll let her go. We don't need to follow her. If you guys haven't seen our facility, you can come by. This is in our front office. Stop by and see us sometime. Our ambulance outside. Come on, we'll show you over here. Over here is the paramedic lab. We have all the equipment put away right now. But as you can see, we utilize the stretcher. And this stretcher is a Ferno stretcher. If you are in the EMS field, the Ferno name goes without saying. So, Ferno, thank you for the stretcher. We love using it. This is an older style stretcher. Anyone in EMS will be very familiar with this type of mechanism. Now everyone has power stretchers and batteries, everything that's much easier on your back as a paramedic. But we teach our students how to use all different styles of stretchers because we know the cost of equipment in EMS and not every service can afford a power stretcher. We also use simulated environments like office space or we've got a couch so we can simulate someone sitting on a couch having a some type of medical event on a couch or someone having a medical event in a bed so we have that environment for students to practice in as well. So the lab space for the medic side is pretty open and we will use this space for different situations or simulation and we can set it up however we want and all the equipment is pretty much put away and all the lockers and there we see James again we're gonna follow him all night I think sounds good all righty